Welcome to a Fallout 76 episode. Today is January 31st, 2020, and a new Inside the Vault was released today. If you've been keeping up with Fallout 76 news, you probably know that we've been hard at work at our upcoming Wastelanders update. We've been regularly highlighting some of the new content coming to the game, sharing new screenshots with you, and recently opening a private test server so that players outside our studio can join us in play testing, with more invites, PC only, on the way soon. However, we would like to give you another peek at what's to come in Wastelanders beyond a few new screenshots and words on a page. We've put together a new official trailer that we're excited to unveil next Tuesday, February 4th. So keep an eye out on fallout.com that day for full details and we hope to see you then. Last week, we introduced you to the Settlers and the Raiders, the two major factions who were on their way to Appalachia with our upcoming Wastelanders update. This time, we're sharing some details about a new reputation system that will help you move from a total stranger to a close confidant with each faction and earn a few rewards along the way. And the uh, picture here is of a check-in point at the Raiders settlement called the Crater, which is currently the crashed space station area. When you first meet the settlers and raiders, they will be hesitant to include you, a newcomer, in their affairs. The more you do to help a faction by offering information, taking down their enemies, and completing quests, the more you will prove you're someone they can rely on and your reputation with that faction will increase. Eventually, you will rise through seven different reputation ranks, from hostile or cautious to neutral, friendly, and ally, among others. Whenever you gain reputation with a faction, you will receive a notification that shows how much reputation you earned. The amount of reputation you earn also depends on what you did to earn it. Completing a story quest, for example, will net you a large amount of reputation, while finishing a daily quest or making certain choices during conversations offer additional ways to gain some rep. You will be able to view your current standing with both factions at any time by opening the social menu. You can see there in the upper right corner. An icon for each faction indicating your current reputation rank will appear at the top of the social menu near your account name. There they have Vault Person 76 level one. You can click this to open a reputation pop-up that shows your rank and your progress towards the next reputation rank. That's what you see on the left side. And obviously there's room for, I guess, other factions that you can join. As your reputation ranks with the Raiders and Settlers increase, people at the Crater and Foundation will treat you with more warmth during your interactions, and that faction's vendors will sell you a wider range of goods. By completing story content, you will also gain access to new vendors that sell plans for a few new faction-themed items which will unlock at certain ranks like Neighborly, friendly or ally. So we have quite a bit of information here today on the entire faction reputation system. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed learning a bit more about the system that's on the way to the game and they're excited to share the Wastelanders trailer with us on Tuesday, February 4th. Thanks for watching and see you out in the world.